Hello, and welcome to The Warehouse. The weekly show where we share the DFTBA warehouse with you. Thanks to everyone who watched last week. Not for any particular reason, we're just really happy to have you here. Speaking of that, our comment of the week comes from Rhett, who says... Classification system! And now it's time for... New Merch News. First off in New Merch News, we're selling a bunch of PodCon 2 merch. You can get shirts, sticker packs, pins, and more. And next we have New Merch from Tolarian Community College, this Teferi Can Go Tuck Himself shirt. 50% of the proceeds from the shirt are gonna go towards the Trevor Project, but it's only available through today, so act fast. And next we have, wait, uh, what's this? Warehouse News. We just wanted to update you on a few things real quick. The first of which being that the Marble Olympics hoodies and shirts are here in the warehouse. And by the time you see this, they're either on their way to you or will be shipping soon. And second, all of the people who totally definitely work here in the warehouse have been putting together the next shipment for Life's Library, book five. The international books went out yesterday and the domestic books will be going out next week. Instead of Creator Corner this week, we actually have a creator who came here to visit. You may remember a few weeks ago, we talked about Hot Mess on Creator Corner and Joe is one of the hosts of that show. Hi. And uh, you might also know me from It's Okay to Be Smart, or hopefully both. Thanks for the shout out about Hot Mess, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Climate change, it's a big deal. Big it's a big deal. deal. Yeah. Even Bill and I said so. Yeah. Like yeah. yesterday. Absolutely. <laughs> One thing that was really cool when we started getting our Hot Mess shirts made at the FTBA was being able to pick something sustainable, which mm -hmm. was super awesome. Like we were able to make the shirts have the lowest impact possible. Yeah, they're made from like us. recycled bottles, right? Yeah, it's like it's it's definitely better for the planet than your standard t-shirt. And also bonus, they're so cool looking. And soft. Yeah. You, can't, soft. you can't feel this from where you are now, um, but trust me. Mm. Very soft. This is gonna go right back on the shelf. <laughs> you might get this one. Whoever's you gonna buy the one now. that I just rubbed my face on. That could be yours. Speaking of shirts, we've also got It's Okay to Be Smart merch. So, this is an oldie but goodie, but you can still get your hands on. It's gonna be vintage one of these days. Yeah, we still have a few left. And this is what you should wear if you are ever doing a science. And anybody can do a science. You don't have to be like a science doer. I don't know what they call those people. Scientist. Uh, doer, I scientist. Think is that that's, term. Okay. <laughs> science doerologist. That's what it is. So I've been thinking about doing a, a new run of t shirts, maybe in one of the designs you just saw. I can't pick colors though, because I'm super bad at making decisions. So uh, leave a comment and help me. What's your favorite color? Please. Awesome. I need help. You can find me on YouTube, of course, at It's Okay to Be Smart or hot mess and you can find me on twitter and instagram at dr dr joe hansen i'm a doctor you guys know that curtsy, do you curtsy no no no, no. <laughs> that's not how this works <laughs> and while you're at it you should go check out merch from all of my pbs digital studios friends that they've got here like the art assignment and physics girl and space time really cool stuff somewhere well thank you so much joe for being here i have one final question for you oh boy you leave. Um, so it's a general thing, a general consensus around the internet, but also here that you look a little bit like Hank. Specifically, everyone thinks you look a lot like his bobblehead, and we just wanted to see what your opinion was on that. I'm not going to argue that... <laughs> your hair goes the other way, but I feel like that's Does anyone the have a guitar? Flaw. I know. Ooh, oh no. Are you telling me I should change my hair to look like... What's his name? What's his name again? Frank Green, or whoever. Doesn't One day they'll be really saying he looks like me. That's all we have for today. Thank you again to Joe for joining us. As always, everything we talked about today will be linked in the description. And if you want to follow DFTBA on Twitter or Instagram, you can follow them at DFTBA Records, or you can follow us on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to be awesome. Perfect. One take. <laughs> That's yeah. not true, but you know. You can't He's say something like that. You're a doctor. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> we can say whatever we want. You're right. Don't fact check this.